Uh, what that was is I have a I have another camera here. Um, so uh, I accidentally had the mic hot on that one. All right, so so let let me let me dial it back real quick with better audio. I have a lot of stuff I want to get rid of, and I don't want to list it all individually online. And it's cool stuff. Um. And I'm sure it's going to make somebody very happy, but right now it's, it's not making me happy. So I would like to sell it, but I'm not out here trying to, trying to retire off of this. I just want a fair price that somebody can have it all and be happy, and I'll be happy, and we're all happy. So how this is going to work is for this whole week... See, I've never done this before. I don't know what order to, 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 to say all this in. So let me, let, me, let, me say, let me say what it is first, okay? It's, it's all um, Insane Clown Posse and Psychopathic Records albums, DVDs, and then other miscellaneous memorabilia. So if you're not interested in that, uh, I will tell you I'm not going to be talking a lot today. Uh, and interacting a lot today. I'm just going to be showing that stuff off, giving a little bit of a history of what it is, uh, and then putting it in the box. Okay? So that's basically what's, what, what I'm going to do. Um, so thank you, anybody that watches, and I apologize, this isn't a normal stream. Okay? So what we have is a ton of... Insane Clown Posse and Psychopathic Records, CDs, uh, and, and memorabilia, and DVDs. Um, and you're going to get it all, okay? Like, so this is like an instant collection. Instant collection. If, if you're a fan, even if you're a new, if you, especially if you're like a new fan, and you just don't know where to start, this is for you. All right, so what the rules are is this week, so that's going to be today, uh, was it uh, J uh, July 24th, until, the, uh, until August 1st, all right? Until August 1st, at the stroke of midnight on August 1st, this deal is off the table for you to buy it outright. And to buy it outright, it's just like buy it now on, uh, on, on eBay. I have a number in my head. Let me get some music in the background. Just nothing crazy. I just want something in the background. Um, uh, I have a, a number in my, in my head. If you guys hit that number, uh, if you DM me with the number, with, with your number, your offer, if it hits my number or exceeds my number, closing it, it's off. It's yours. First come, first serve. If you hit the number and somebody comes in and offers me like $20,000, I lose $20,000 because it's yours. That's how that's going to work. After that, if it doesn't sell, um, I'm going to do a raffle, basically. If you're unfamiliar with how a raffle works, um, you basically uh, buy a ticket, and it puts you in... It puts your name in a hat, and, your, and the name is randomly picked out. And then basically you win, right? So the the raffle is gonna be a five dollar donation here, um, or it, it, if you uh, if you send if you PayPal five bucks and just write raffle in it. Um, the link to donate is down in the uh, in the about me section, um, and then yeah, just write raffle. It's five dollars. Or more. If you want to put more in, you don't get more uh, chances. So if you give me $15, you don't get three chances. So you're still going to have one. It would basically just be your generosity. You're just, you know, helping me out. Um, but I don't need help. I just want to give this stuff away. And I just don't want to give it away for free. I would, at the very least, like to cover the cost of shipping. Okay? Because it's heavy. It's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost probably at least 20 bucks or so. So I'm hoping... Hoping I get, you know, a, a few offers, a few, you know, whatever. Um, and the way it works is honestly, like, five bucks and you're in, okay? 
if you're the only person that donates five dollars with raffle in the description and you win this is all yours for five dollars so you know that's basically like the rules of raffle so here's the box but it's it's a mobile cam i can move it around and stuff you know there's me right uh i can move that around so if you if you if anybody is here and you just in the chat you you say can i see a better close up of that or if, if you if you say just let me know because i am reading the chat i'm just not really responding to the chat all right so i guess let's get into the items all right and this is gonna be like a, a a ride down memory lane for me as well because i'm a huge a huge fan of the uh of the insane clown posse and um it, this, this is gonna be really cool to look at it all all right so we're going to start off, uh, if you know anything about the Insane Clown Posse, you know that their albums are more than albums. They're called Joker Cards, and it's basically like a story on CD. They tell a story, there's music, um, and, you know, notoriously everybody takes the music out of, out of the context of the story and, and calls ICP the worst band in the world. Although, I think they're over that now. Um, so what we have first is the entire first joker's card set okay so what that is is card number one is called carnival of carnage okay this came out like back in 92 93 this is the original pressing this is the psychopathic records pressing it's not the island records or anything like that it's got everything on it uh everything's good it's in good condition uh like i said if you want to see any more of anything uh, just hit hit up the chat and if I if I catch it, I'll I'll grab my mobile camera here Okay, so that's going that's going in the box Second is Joker's card number two. It's called a ringmaster Okay, and it's the original pressing from from uh, 94 Yeah, 94 okay, it's in there everything is good everything is copacetic. It's in good condition I take good care of my stuff um, anybody that has bought anything from me will tell you, I take immaculate care of my stuff. All right. So we have Joker's card number three. It's Riddle Box. Again, original pressing. I don't think there was any other one, any other pressing other than the original. They did a, uh, they did like an anniversary edition. Uh, so that's in there. Then we have Joker's card number four is uh great malenko this is a red copy there's more than one color that you could buy i have the red one i think that was the most uh common okay and this is the uh, island records version it is not the hollywood records version it is the island records version uh which is a little a little less rare uh island records is kind of rare we have uh joker's card no uh, number five in the red box that's uh the Amazing Jekyll Brothers, again, this is in here. This is the standard edition. All right, the standard edition. All right, and then we have uh, Joker's card number six came in two forms. This is the first one. It's basically heaven and hell. So here you go. The Wraith, Shangri-La, a.k.a. heaven. All right, it's all in here. Great condition. Great condition. And then... Of course, here is Hell. The Wraith Hell's Pit. Also, you know, in great condition. Alright. Uh, so now, the Joker's card that I showed you before, number 5, it actually had a collector's edition. Uh, I have those. It, w it has two different forms. It's Jake and Jack. Which one am I holding? This one is Jack and Jake. And then the inside has like a different, different covers. There's like a photo shoot that they did. You get that. Okay. Same with this one. Different photos and everything. So they are going safely in the box. Okay. So you will get that uh, in the box. Okay. So there's, uh, that's the first Joker's card deck, the first six cards. So then after that, they ha they started the second deck. I don't, I'm, I'm not putting all of them in there. These are still easily available to you, but I have extras and I'll give you those. 
So here we go. Here's uh, Bang Pal Boom. Uh, Fearless Fred Fury. Uh, Missing Link Lost. Those are going in the box as well. Make sure they're neat. There they are. Um, what else we got? All right, so we have um, we have compilations that they do. Uh, ICP does a lot of compilations and stuff. So uh, I got all of them here. So we have uh, a Christmas one called Holiday Heat. It's going in the box. Um, it's, uh, here's one I got on tour. It's called Hurricane of Diamonds. Uh, 2017. Um, so that, that's going to be in there. Uh, we have a remix of the two Wraith albums. That's going in. All right, here's another tour album. And I have two for some reason. Uh, this is from the American Psychos tour. You get two of these. So if you got a friend that might want it, let's give it to them or sell it. And uh, recoup your losses that you get from buying this. Um, so another thing they do is when they release an album, they usually have like outtakes and stuff and they, you know, put them on an album, sell those, uh, and they call them forgotten freshness. Uh, I don't have one in two or I'm, I'm not putting one and two in the box. I only have one copy and I, I have been unable to find a second copy. So that, that will not be included. Here's volume three, volume four, volume five, also volume four. This is some weird shit. It's it's a double disc. Okay. So it's Forgotten Freshness Volume 4. And then there's a Halloween album. I'm smelling it because it used to have a, a pumpkin smell. But I think that's gone. Yeah, it doesn't smell anymore. So, so these compilations are going in the box. Don't worry. There's going to be rare stuff as well. This is all kind of common. Some of it is out of print, but not really rare, but just out of print. So eventually it'll be rare. A um, couple more compilations they did. One was Hatchet History. This one, this one's become kind of rare. I can't find this anywhere. Hatchet History. ICP The Old Shit. Uh, they did a tour recently called The Old Shit Tour. And that was a, a concert where they had like their old stage set up with like no no theatrics or anything just them on stage and uh they did all old songs that's all the old songs on the compilation they have a uh, mutilation mix this is like a mixtape where they you know cut a verse or two out of songs and 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 put more songs on the album just with fewer verses you know what i mean uh so that's going to be in there mutilation mix uh this is featuring freshness it's kind of like forgotten freshness except it's all the features uh, every once in a while, they, they will do an album with uh, another group, and they just compiled every single one of those uh, into one one CD. And that's it. Um, then they did the Psychopathics from Outer Space compilation. So this is more than ICP. It's got some of their older talent on it. Uh, so here's, you know, Volume 1. Volume 2. And Volume 3. That's all of them. They did three. These are going in the box. Okay. Um, what else have they done? They have done uh, a couple of, like I said, like they they'll have like uh, outtakes and stuff like that. Um, and the the outtakes, you know, they don't make it onto the album, so uh, but they put it out uh, somewhere else. They do it more organized now, a little bit less of the. Uh, uh, forgotten Freshness, and they do it a little bit more, like, based off of what album they were from. Uh, so here's the Missing Link outtakes. Uh, oh, here's another Christmas EP. Uh, this one's a little bit more uncommon. This one's from 1994. Uh, this one is all of the, the outtakes from, uh, Fearless Fred. This is called Flip the Rat. Okay, and here is something from, I believe this is from uh, the Missing Link era, or it might have been, um, might have been Death Pop, it might have been between those two, and uh, it's called the Phantom EP, you can get the Phantom EP. These are going in the box.
All right, so what else do we have here? So I want to show off like pretty much everything uh, common, and then I'm going to go to the rare stuff. Um, so in addition uh, to their own music, they also produced some other artists, uh, one of which is called Twisted. So Twisted, I uh, have pretty much their entire collection here. Um... So let's start from here. We have Twisted's first album. This is actually the demo that they sent in that got them the record deal. So it has a few, uh, a few songs on it that don't have cleared samples, I think. So I don't think you could actually buy this anymore. Um, then they have that album was re-released with the uh, uncleared samplers taken off and new songs put on. Um, get that here same same thing it's it's missing one of these arms some of these jewel cases that are a little bit brittle over time um but you know it's good condition you can always get another jewel case everything else is intact there you go there's that then uh their second album that they did that uh this is kind of like their first thing that they did without any any help from icp it's called freak show it's their second album all right we got their third album it's called the Green Book. It has a sleeve. Okay. That's in there. And then they did a double album. It was uh, Man's Myth and Mutant. So you get both of those. Uh, I believe they are two disc sets. So there you go. You get that. And a second disc. What is the second disc? Um... just says bonus disc on it. I'm not sure what's on it. If I remember correctly, though, it was uh, an interview with one of the uh, band members that uh, he had... He went to jail or something, and he did an interview when he got out, uh, you know, kind of talking about, you know, cleaning his life up and all that stuff afterwards. This is also a two-disc set. Uh, not sure what the second disc is. They don't even write it on it. Like... It just says bonus features, but it's here if you want it. If you want it, it's going in the box. Okay. Um, that's not all. There's more. Uh, Twisted has done many albums, and I have, I think, all of them. Uh, so they also did... This one's called Mirror Mirror. They called it a EP but it's a little bit longer than an EP. Here's the track list here. It's all in good condition. Everything that you're seeing here is going to be like fully like, I'm telling you, this is um, what, I, what I would call a, a collect, an instant collection, okay? Uh, they did an album called Heartbroken and Homicidal. Then they did an album called Independence Day. There you go. These are going in the box. I'm not spending too much time with this, uh, because these are common, like, you could, you might not be able to buy, like, like I said, they're out of print, I think, but they're not, like, rare, like, pretty much everybody, um, that's into the music has probably purchased it, so, um, so here's another album of theirs called Wicked, uh, it's all in here, everything's there, everything's there, um, and then, this is their last album with Psychopathic Records. It had two different versions. Uh, one for each band member. You can see the two different covers there. Uh, and the difference between the two is uh, one had a bonus track from one of the band members. One had a bonus track from the other band member. A um, little bit of a cash grab, but um, worked on me. I got it. And it could be yours going in the box all right in the box look at that box filling up guys you see that we got one row already filled okay um then after twisted left psychopathic records they continued to make music um they lost me after some time but i did get a few of them and the, why, why why eternal what are you talking for why did that just turn off It just switched to auto, and it won't let me change it back. 
Oh, you can still see it though, right? Yeah. All right, it still looks good. All right, anyway, so yeah, they left. They left the label and started their own thing. Here is a signed copy of a new nightmare, which was their uh, first album they did uh, without Psychopathic Records. Then they did uh, an EP called Get Twisted. I believe there's a cover, but it's missing. Um, and then their first like full length album, those two were EPs. The first full length they did was called The Darkness. And this is where I started to say, I don't think, I don't think I'm too into Twisted anymore. Because it started getting weird, their, 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 their music. Not weird, what's the word? It started lacking the luster, let's say. Uh, they re-released the Green Book. So here's a re-release of Green Book. Um, the original is also in the box, as you saw before. Uh, and then they did Continuous Evolution of life, Life's Questions. And this is where they lost me. I honestly, at this point, I found their music... Uh, too boring to continue dumping money into, so I stopped. That's that. Uh, what a sale, right? So in the box. Okay, so that's in the box. In the box. In the box. In the box. Um. So ICP twisted. Let's see. We have. Uh, let's do Blaze. So Blaze is another former band member oh actually before i do that let me let's stay on twisted for a minute um they also while they were on psychopathic records they did a couple of solo albums and those are here so here's monoxide that's one member uh his stuff is all cigarette butts he's uh and then here we go we have an album called fatso it's even got a a think for a 57 inch waist. See that? Take that off to open the album. There you go. Uh, you see, because he was fat. And uh, Fatso actually has what was called the Earth 2 version. Pretty sure this is rare. I'm pretty sure this is rare. I think this alone I've seen on eBay for quite some money. Um, not asking for money. Just put it in the box. That's going to be in the box. Um, and then in addition to that, let's stay on Twisted for a minute. I, 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 I did kind of a false start moving ahead. Uh, Twisted's old band was called House of Crazies. Uh, they did two re-releases uh, of their old albums here. There's one. This one is uh, Homebound. And then there is uh, Home Sweet Home. Go. These are there, and then there's uh, casket cuts, which is like a a full-on like uh, compilation of all their all their favorites and stuff. That's gonna be in here. Um, so what else we got here? Okay, so we have this is where it's gonna get a little fun. Um, so you remember how ICP has forgotten freshness? Twisted had the cryptic collection. Same concept, just songs that either were old, didn't make an album, whatever. Uh, so here's Volume 1, Cryptic Collection, Volume 1. Alternate cover, Cryptic Collection, Volume 1. Serial Killer, sealed. It's still factory sealed, this is. Then we have Cryptic Collection, Volume 2. Also with an alternate cover. Uh, Cryptic Collection 3. And Cryptic Collection 4. These are going in the box. Okay. How are we doing with space? I think we're good with space. Alright, here we go. So, um, so that was ICP and Twisted. So let's talk about some of their supergroups, right? They did some supergroups where it was like either them together or, you know, a couple of groups coming together, making an album together. One of them was called Psychopathic Riders. 
Here's the first album here. Um, called Dumpin'. This one is definitely out of print. I don't know if you could get this anywhere. Here it is. It's the original. They sold it with, like, you know, no backing here. It's just the one, like, sleeve. Okay. Um, this is, They're all out of order here. I forget what the order is, but here we go. There's uh, Riding Dirty. This is the uh, second album. It's here. It's in there. Same concept. No, uh, no backing on the sleeve. Um, I just I want to stay with the psychopathic riders here. I don't want to jump around and have to come back. Here we go. Because there's more than one. All right. So they also did an album called. Here's where I don't know if it's in order. So here's check your shit in, bitch. Boom. The album is as awesome as it sounds. Duck the fuck down. See that? It's here. Uh, backdoor riders. Uh, terms of service. Terms of service edition here. It's a album with butts on it. I think we're all right. They're covered butts. Then there is uh, eat shit and die. It's a good one. It's there. Everything's good. So that's it for um, Psychopathic Riders. They also did a super group called Super Villains. This is uh, ICP and Isham. So this was it was an okay album. I didn't like it that much, but eh, it was okay. Uh, then we have Dark Lotus. All right, Dark Lotus. Um, that's ICP and Twisted and then Blaze, but then. They also added a fifth member here and there. Uh, so here it is, the first album, Tales from the Lotus Pod. It's got a black background. Everything is kind of black with like hieroglyphs. Um, then there's a, a, so this is the version that you could probably get now, right? There was also an older version, a red one. It had a person that was on it that uh, he, he, I don't know. He had a problem with the group. They they got into like a fight or something, and they kicked him out. And um, they like re-recorded it with a different artist on it. Like I said, it's like got a complicated lineup. Um, so yeah, they kicked him out, redid all his like verses with another rapper, uh, and the rest is history. But this is rare. If you go look this up, you know, original Dark Lotus Tales from the Lotus Pod or Tales from the Lotus Pod Red, something like that. Uh, You'll find it, and you'll see that it is quite the addition to have in this box. Then we have their second album called Black Rain. There we go. It's all here. Um, again, I don't know if these are particularly rare. Um, I know the, the first one was the, the red one. I do have some rare stuff, so I will definitely spend more time on those. Um, so here we go. Uh, another uh, Dark Lotus album, The Opaque Brotherhood. There you go. There you go. Looks good. Take a look, open it up. This is the special edition with four bonus tracks on it. So that's in there. Then we have The Mud, Water, Air, and Blood. This was the last Dark Lotus album before they split up. Remember how I said uh, Twisted left the, the, the label? They came back, recorded this, and then after they left the second time, there was like a fight between the two groups, and now the, uh, they don't really work together anymore. Uh, then we have another super group that was ICP and the Mafia Six, which were the surviving members of the Three Six Mafia. So here it is. Reindeer Games. It's called Killjoy Club. There you go. It's good. This one's a good album. I like this one a lot, actually. And these supergroup albums are going in the box. Almost just dropped them, though. Yikers. Here we go. In the box. In the box. Um, what else do we have? All right, so we have Blaze. So Blaze was another artist. Uh, Blaze was kind of like, I guess, friends with Twisted. And, um, 
so yeah, he 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 did a few albums here. I have a, quite a bit actually. So here's his demo, the Blazy Dead Homie EP. It's his demo. It's uh original. Everything's original here. That's in here. Um, his first studio album was called One Less G in the Hood. There you go. That's going to be in here. This was a pretty decent album. I enjoyed this one a lot. Uh, I have the same album, but the Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition is basically uh, the first album that I showed you, the demo, uh, mixed with One Less G in the Hood so that it has like basically both albums, but they uh, put like transitions in there so that it made sense as one album. There you go. And there's bonus tracks too. There's three bonus tracks. So I have that. I forget what order these came out in. So I'm just going to show them all in, out of order, possibly. Uh, he also did Clockwork Grey. Blaze. It's great. These are all great albums. But Blaze is actually probably my favorite um, of the of the bands that left. There's like a lot of a lot of their members left. Um, he was probably my favorite. I miss him the most. Here's Colton Grundy. It's another. Uh, Another Blaze album. And then I think that was it before he left. He did uh, Gang Rags. So here's Gang Rags. Um, actually, might be missing one Gang Rags. Oh, is it maybe here? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to put this. This is a good one. All right. So here's Gang Rags. Uh, there's a little bit of a history behind this. Like, there were a few fights that happened between ICP and Twisted. Uh, one of them was Blaze apparently recorded this album, and he wanted to do it, and, you know, the members of ICP uh, didn't like it and told him to redo it and use, like, some, some beats that they had left over from an old album that they didn't record. I, I think that's how it went. I don't want to spread rumors and shit. I don't... I don't remember. Uh, but here's the original one that he recorded. They later released it. It's called uh, The Extended, Uncut, and Uncensored Gang Rags. There you go. Okay. So that's that. And then when he left, when he left Psychopathic Records, he re-recorded the gang rags that didn't, uh, that, that, that didn't get released the first time, just with new beats and all that stuff. And uh, here it is. And it's signed. This is a sealed and signed copy. They sealed it. They, they signed the seal because if you want to listen to it, fuck you, buy another copy. Um, that made me mad. Um, so let's see. So the, yeah, then that was his first, after he left Psychopathic. Uh, he, he's on Twisted's label now. Uh, he did The Casket Factory. I have two copies of it here. So one of them has bonus tracks. This one has bonus tracks. This one does not. But they are both included. Then he did an album called Dead Vulture. This is an EP that he did for The Gathering. Uh, yeah, they came with some, some music to hand out at The Gathering. So that's his. Um, I have a couple of singles as well. I have one called Kill Em All. I think this came with like a t-shirt or something. I don't have the t-shirt anymore. Then there's uh, Rules to the Game featuring ABK. And ABK is coming soon to uh, this stream in just a moment because I have stuff of his. And this is, I believe, the last Blaze album, Cadaver. There it is. It's in its entirety. It's in there. And these are headed to the box! Okay, want to make sure they line up nice and neat. Okay. Uh, what can we do next? Yeah, I said ABK. Let's do ABK. Alright. These ones I think I could do in order. He doesn't have that many. So, first off, there's Hatchet Warrior. This is ABK's debut album. He did not have a demo released, I believe. He just came right out with an uh, LP. All right, his second one, Dirty History. There you go. 
He's a Native American, so it has all this like Native American stuff. Uh, here is the single from uh, Dirty History called Hey Ya. Um, here is a tour EP that he did called Road Fools. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, he's got like some features on it, some friends are on there. Um, and it has a DVD with some behind the scenes stuff from their tour. Okay, then his next album was called Mudface. There it is. Boom. It's just typical LPs. And then the last one he did with Psychopathic Records was called Medicine Bag. And there it is. This is, there's three versions. Uh, this is the one with Peace Pipe. This is a, a, the green version. All right, so this is going in the box. Does it fit? No. Let me go over here. Okay. Yeah, we're really stacking that box. So Blaze and ABK had a band together called Drive By. So here you go. Drive By, their first album, Pony Down. Got that. There you go. They had a second album called, um, what's it called? Back on the Block. There you go, Back on the Block. And then they have Run These Streets. I think that's all the drive I have. They, they did more. These are all the ones I have. Into the box. Um, where are we going from here? Uh, okay, so yeah, we got a couple other... So, uh, I was a bit of a completionist. I was buying albums even though I didn't really like the music anymore. Uh, one of the bands, or one of the, the artists that I didn't really like was Boondocks. Um, so, here's his stuff. The Harvest, this is one of his albums. Uh, Crimson Creek. South of Hell. Pumpkinhead. And then here's one that I actually liked. I actually do like this album. Um, if I had to listen to a Boondocks album on repeat for the rest of my life, it would be this one. It's called Abaddon. It was really good. And you go into the box. Try to fill in any of the empty gaps here. Make sure it's packed really nice. I assure you, when I when I uh, send stuff, I pack it very nice. This isn't how it's going to send. I'm just putting it in the box for now. I'm going to you know put bubble wrap and everything in there. Make it really nice. Um, another group that was... Oh, here we go. Here's a, uh, so Violent J is a big fan of, um, Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam. And he wanted to make like a Pearl Jam type album, uh, but he didn't want it to be an insane clown posse album. So he assembled a band. They're called Zug Island. Um, here's their first album called Crack Tiles. And then here's their second album called 333, The Witching Hour. All right. That goes in the box. Okay. Um, so, okay, so they were also friends with a local Detroit rapper named Isham. Uh, it's one of Violent J's favorite artists, like, of all time. I actually have an album. This one is not on Psychopathic Records, but it is Isham, and it features an ICP song. Uh, so I think it features two ICP songs, actually, and a Dayton family song. This is a really good album, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. This is good. This is a good album. It's called Tongues. Uh, so then he was briefly on uh, Psychopathic Records. I believe his brother, uh, who was his manager, um, he like disappeared for a while. I don't know if he went to jail or if he just wasn't working with Isham anymore. Uh, but during that time, uh, ICP put out his stuff on Psychopathic. So here's Repentance. Nisham album. Here's Acid Rain. This is a compilation of his older stuff. I think it's similar to the ICP uh, Mutilation Mix, where they cut out some verses uh, to make more songs fit. 
Um, cause there's, yeah, there's like 30 something songs on here. And then here's A1 Yola. So this is an album, but it's also got a DVD. This DVD, Isham made a video for every song on the album. So you could actually just, you could either listen to the CD or you could pop the DVD in and just watch it like a, uh, like a movie. So that was Isham. What else we got? All right. So here we go. This, this one. Not my, not my favorite people. This is around the time where uh, ICP was working with people that I just didn't like. Um, it was Axe Murder Boys. So here's their first album. Like I said, I was being loyal to the record label. Didn't really care about the artist. Uh, this is Blood In, Blood Out, an album by Axe Murder Boys. This is, uh, I believe, their second album. I think I got it in order. God's Hand. There you go. Uh, and then the last one they did as a band on uh, Psychopathic was the Garcia Brothers. There we go. And then, uh, the, so one of the guys from there has like a solo career. It's a young Wicked. Here's his solo album on Psychopathic called Slaughter. These are going in the box. I'm going to start a second, second uh, row here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all these, look at all this stuff, guys. If you are a fan, this is an instant collection. All right? If you weren't in before, this is going to get you right in. Uh, here's another super group. Here's Blaze and ROC. The, they, they were friends, and they did an album called Zodiac Imprint. There's two versions. I forget which one is which. Does it say it? Does it say it? No, it doesn't say anywhere. I can see right off the bat. Uh, but one is... Um, produced by a, a house producer for the, the label, and the other was produced by one of the members called ROC. Uh, you get both, so you can figure out uh, as you're listening to your own copy. Um, let's see. Let's, let's go back to psychopathic records here. I'm tired of talking about uh, non-psychopathic there. So we have uh, Light. Light released an album uh, called Psychopathic Monstar. Uh, it has three different versions. It's the same album with three different producers. So like ICP and Psychopathic Records, they, they experiment with a lot of things. Uh, one of the things they experiment with is like, you know, the, the back end stuff, like, like producing and changing producers and remixing and doing that kind of stuff. So they just simultaneously release three copies of the same album uh, produced by a different producer. So one is Violent J, one is Straight Jacket, and the other is... I wish it said it right on the front. Yeah, it doesn't say. But uh, you get all three. And just like the Zodiac imprint, you can figure it out yourself. Um, let's do a couple more compilations here. There's a few more Psychopathic Records compilations. Um, there is a gentleman by the name of DJ Clay. He did a Let Him Bleed mixtape. Uh, this is actually the, the namesake for my raffle that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the Let Him Bleed box set. This is uh, all four volumes of the Let It Bleed collection. All right. Uh, DJ Clay also did uh, The World Upside Down. A World Upside Down, sorry. Uh, it's another... Another, uh, it's just a, it's just a, he, cause he's a DJ. He, he, he like scratches it up, puts, puts albums together, does a little bit of, uh, what do you call it when you put one guy's beat over another guy's vocals? You know, the ma mashups, does mashups, stuff like that. Um, then, yeah, they, we have Mikey Clark Psychopathic Murder Mix, Volume 1 and 2. Mikey Clark is one of the producers. He's the producer that did the first couple of albums, the, the first Joker cards, the first six Jokers cards. Uh, he was pretty instrumental, no pun intended, on those. Uh, and this is the same thing. He just scratches it up, puts uh, uh, some mashups together, uh, gets rid of some beats. Uh, here we go. Here's Book of the Wicked. Uh, this is another DJ Clay mix. He did Book of the Wicked. You get volume one, volume two. See, it has like the whole old crew there. Is it every? That's back when uh, it was a whole different, a whole different posse. 
than it, than it is today. Um, what else we got? All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So we have a few one-offs. Uh, I'll show you a few one-offs that I have. So first one-off is DJ Paul, King of Memphis of the 3-6 Mafia. Awesome album. Awesome artist. He did, he did a one-off uh, with, with Psychopathic. He was doing this thing where he was just going to other people and just doing an album on their label. And one each. Like he, he was like moving around doing one album. It's funny. Um, Cold 187. Uh, this is a, a weird album. This is another experimental thing that they did where they took a well-known rapper called uh, Big Hutch and had him rap over some of their, their beats. Um, didn't do too well. It comes with a comic book. There's like a story behind it and everything. Um, it was okay. Uh, not not my favorite. Um, then yeah, there's there's Blase Rose. Uh, this is a thing that happened. Um, this is the broken EP. Uh, it's it, it's not broken, but here it is. Uh. You get that whether you want it or not, okay? Um, another really good artist on the label. Uh, I think he's on the label. It's weird. We're in weird times, man, where labels don't really matter anymore. But they, they're friends, so they, you know, they work together and they're, you know, use each other's equipment and stuff. And uh, I can't even tell what's what anymore. But I know for a fact that this was a Psychopathic Records release. This is Big Hoodoo, The Crystal Skull. I love this album. This is a really good album. A really good artist. Uh, here's one he did on his own called Asylum. Uh, he released it on Psychopathic Records, as you can see right there. But um, he did all the work himself, I believe. That was around the time they were starting to realize that uh, labels didn't matter. Um, and with that, you also get this hologram of Big Hoodoo. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'll give you that. I'm going to put that in the box as well. All right. So, in the box. Let's go. All right, so um, let's jump back over with Twisted on their label. There was an artist that I, I, I liked him, but after like a couple of releases, he started to, all his songs started to sound the same to me. So I just stopped buying and just I listened to it streaming. But I, I don't mean to disrespect him, but uh, it just got old quick. I mean, his style didn't really vary. It was like he had one delivery and one beat style. And I heard it. And didn't need more. So it's Lex, the Hexmaster, Black Season EP. Then here's an LP called Contact. And then we have the Beyond Redemption Deluxe Edition. There you go. Those will be in the box. Um, that's the end of Twisted, I believe, as far as music goes. So let's talk about this guy right here. Awesome dude. Ouija Mac. This is his album called Gutter Water. Um, really, he's a really good artist. Does a lot of music. He He's always working, it seems. Um, yeah, give him, give him a listen. Uh, this is sealed, though. So if you want to listen, you got to break the seal. But his stuff is not hard to find. Uh, he, he's got a lot of stuff on the old internet there. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, back in the day, Psychopathic also... Uh, worked with a dude called Misery. He was a, um, he was a, a rapper from the Bronx, I believe. Here's uh, his his first album is an EP called Para La Isla, from the island. Uh, so you got this. This is the original version. And um, here is the 20th anniversary. You get that, and it has two CDs. It has Para La Isla. Sorry about my. Uh, Sorry about my pronunciations there. Wow, it's got actually like a... The Para La Isla is like a full length. Like it's not the EP. It's got more songs on it. So yeah, that's going to be in the box. In the box it goes. Um, All right, so... Let's go back to Insane Clown Posse for a second. So here we go. I'm going to get a little bit more rare. All right, there we're gonna we're gonna start doing a little bit of the rare stuff. Started with some rare stuff. Uh, started with ICP. Now we're in the middle of the stream here. 
and we got rare ICP. So we have these two singles. This is the Hocus Pocus uh, Jason Nevins mix. Uh, there was a couple of versions. I have two of them. One of them has Hocus Pocus uh, normal radio edit instrumental and the LP version. This one has Hocus Pocus prom queen my kind of bitch and schizophrenic. Uh, here's another single. Here's Bowling Balls from Hell's Pit. All right. Get the... I think it's just the song. Yeah. But it's a... Yeah. There you go. It's a good song. It's on CD. Uh, so here we go. This is from back in the Jekyll Brothers days. This is another love song, which uh, it sounds like a Beck song. If you listen to it, it's. I think it's got... It's got a sample from Beck called Another Love Song. There it is. It'll be yours. This, I believe. Yeah, it has the clean version, so you can listen to it without curses. You listen to the album version, and you can listen to the instrumental. All right, so here's their homies single. Boom. There we go. Homies. This, to my knowledge, is the only way you could listen to the following two songs on CD. The radio version of Homies, uh, and the Juggalo chant. The Juggalo chant was like, uh, at the end of their concert, they would play it, and everybody would sing along and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's on there. You actually have a CD version of it. Here's When I'm Clowning from the Mighty Death Pop. This is from, I think, like 2014 or something. It's got a couple of different... I love the colors on this. Look at how nice this is. Totally clowny. Um, it's got the, the Kuma mix with Boondocks and Danny Brown. It's got the Kuma mix instrumental, the acapella, a radio edit, and then a super mix with Preshawn, Boondocks, and Danny Brown. These singles are going in the box. All right, we have a couple of sealed things here, uh, some of which are pretty rare. All right, so you're going you're gonna to like some of this stuff. Sealed. Sealed, sealed, sealed. Hurricane of Diamonds, that was that tour album that I was talking about before. Uh, you're going to get an open copy and a sealed copy. All right. Here's a big one right here. You ready? Wizard of the Hood Special Edition. This comes in a tin. Uh, it comes with um, <laughs> Violent J rolling papers if you are a smoker. And it says only 10,000 copies pressed. So one of them will be yours into the box. Uh, we have a couple more sealed things. Sealed! Uh, here are two copies of Hell's Pit sealed. Why is it two copies? Because there were two versions. One of them comes with a uh, DVD of a concert. One of them comes with a DVD of the Bowling Balls music video, which is like a 25 minute long video. Um, kind of like Michael Jackson thriller style, where they have like a, a story and everything, and the the music intertwined with the story. And uh, if you look online, there is a 4K, like 60 frames per second re-upload of it. And it's like weird to watch. Um, also, here's Fearless Fred Fury. That is the fifth Joker's card in the second deck. Sealed. Uh, here's the Riddle Box. Anniversary Edition. Sealed. And the Great Malenko. Anniversary Edition sealed. Those will be in the box. They will be yours. So you choose. And there's a couple of little extra things I have here. Um, this is pr this is for like the real collectors here. So uh, I'm going to throw this in. This has nothing to do with ICP or anything, but these guys toured with ICP and they're called Wolfpack. It's got one of the dudes from Bloodhound Gang in it. Uh, they're pretty Pretty decent. It was a good album. Uh, but this is ICP related. It's called The Humble Gods. This is the Cottonmouth Kings before they were Cottonmouth Kings when they were like a punk uh, band. They were a punk band. They did punk music. And they had a song featuring ICP called Running Out of Time. It's on the bottom somewhere. I got a band aid. Um, yeah, so you get that. Here it is. Oh, it's got like. Like I said, some of these are a little bit brittle. Um, and the, you know, the, these things, they get loose. 
Alright, so. I'm gonna try not to break it as I put it back on, because it's not broken, it was just loose. There we go. Alright, so you get those two as well. Oh, here's something that was just in there, so I'm gonna include it, uh, but it's a, it's a sticker. Yeah, you get a sticker. That will be yours. Um, let's keep going with the rare ICP stuff, shall we? Rare ICP stuff. Let's see. All right, so this this might tickle a few people's fancy. If anybody's able to play these, I don't know. We have the original cassette of Carnival of Carnage, which is ICP's first album. This is an original pressing. This is not a repress. I got this like in the mid 90s before they redid anything. That's original. Same with this. This is Riddlebox, the orange cassette, which I don't know if it's rare, but I don't think it is. Those will be in the box. All right, let's see. There, there's more. Don't you worry. I'm just reaching in. We're not done yet. We're about, I would say, in the grand scheme of things, we're about, I would say we're about half done. Yeah. All right. So we have a couple of singles here. Uh, I'm going to start with these guys from the 90s. Remember the 90s? All uh, right, so we have a Carnival Christmas. Boom. That was a single put out. Uh, this is from Island Records, so that's got to be a redo. Um, we have the sampler from the Amazing Jekyll Brothers, and it's called... Um, it's called Mad Professor. And... The full song is on here, along with a really funny sampler of the new album. It's got pretty cool CD art, too. Yeah. Alright. So that you get that. You get the Fat or Whack ICP versus Twisted. It's another funny sampler. Um, wait, we're missing one. There it is. Okay. I knew there was... I knew that this existed. I wanted to make sure it was here. So you get two two of these. Are you ready? You get the bizarre bizarre sampler, right? Here, listen to this. It's another it's another funny one. It's got them doing like a skit between songs, and you could be happy knowing you also have a sealed bizarre bizarre sampler. Sealed. Okay. And then we have a few more things. Here we go. Psychopathic ciphers. This is actually pretty rare. You had to buy all three Mighty Death Pops, right? There was three versions of that album. You had to buy all three. And I believe you had also had to buy the Cold 187 album. And you also had to buy um, Twisted Abominations, I believe. And you send them the receipt. And then if you're lucky, they mail you this. Very rare. I'm like not even joking. Like this is like super rare. I, I don't know many people that would have that. Um We also have Remember the the Phantom's Extra Spooky Edition? Well this is the Phantom Original Edition. This is a pretty rare uh a rare C D, I would say. Uh you can only get this at the gathering. Then I have a Hollow Wicked CD. Look at this. They do Halloween right. Look at this. Just a plain black CD. You don't know what the name of the song is. Nothing. You go home, you put the CD in, and you listen to it. And whatever it is, it's a surprise. It's Halloween. It's Hollow Wicked. I believe I listened to this one. And I believe it's called Evil is Afraid. Okay. Then I also have the Hollow Wicked. So 2001, yeah, the 2001 Hollow Wicked CD, sealed. Okay, that's going in, and I have the Hollow Wicked 2012 sealed. It has this sticker. It has like this kind of seal. It's not covered in plastic, but it has it has that. That's not broken. 
Okay. You get that. Uh, then we have this charity CD called Sick Kids. You donate to something, and then you get this album. It's got Colin J. I opened it to listen to it, and then I put it back in and never touched it again because I, I just wanted to take care of it, and I only listened to my digital copy that I ripped off of this. And then there's this album called After Murder Sunrise by the Bloody Brothers. That's like a like a fake ICP band or something. It's ICP, but they sing like dark country style music. Um, so yeah, these are going to go in the box. Let me do this right. Okay, that's in. Got the cassettes here. I'm going to put these up here. All right, and then uh, I got a couple more. We have Magic Ninja. All right, this is more Lex. Lex the Hexmaster from Magic Ninja. We have a Boondock sampler. Uh, so, that yeah, they were friends with this dude called Crucifix. And I friggin' loved Crucifix. And then he... So he did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they, they toured together. This is signed by the whole group. This is the Wormwood Tour. Uh, exclusive tour CD. You get that. Fully signed. Uh, we have another ABK. That's Anybody Killer album. This is the Shapeshifter Prelude. Uh, so basically it's just a... How many songs is it? Seven songs? It was okay. It was an okay album. I don't think it was psychopathic, though. Nah. Um, so yeah, that's going in the box as well. Okay. Uh, here's a poster. I don't know what this is. Let me open it up. What is this? What is it? It looks like Boondocks. I'm going to say this is Boondocks. Alright, that looks like Boondocks. So, yeah. It's a, a Boondocks poster in here as well. I'm going to put that in. Um, let's see. A couple more things here. Uh, uh, Alright, so I said I was going to put the hologram big hoodoo. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put... Hologram Mighty Death Pop. Okay. Put that right there. Um. Alright, so we have... We're going back to ICP's first six Joker cards. This is the, uh, the Wraith in DVD 5.1 audio. That's something... I, I see artists doing that now. But this was back in like 2004? 2002? This is back in 2002. They did a 5.1 mix of an album. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's very, very, very fun to listen to. Let me see. I forgot how to open it. There we go. It has like a, a little release knob. Yeah. So that will be yours. Keep that nice and neat. Um. Okay. So let's go. Let's get a little weird with it, shall we? This is gonna. This is gonna be fun. We have a couple of vinyl records. First up is uh, a vinyl record of ICP with Jack White. And they did two songs together called Lek Mich im Arsch. Uh, and then another song called Mountain Girl. That's a, what do you call that? It's a six inch little, uh, little vinyl record there. Then I have uh, Twisted Presents the Dojo. That's another uh, six inch. Uh, then we have the Christmas ICP CD. Uh, ICP um, uh, album, record, vinyl. That'll be in there. Uh, then we have this one. This, this is two. This is sealed. I did not open this. It's Fat Kids, which is a Jamie Madrox song from Green Book, and Nicotine, which is a Monoxide song from uh the green book that's uh another another six inch I, i'm gonna have to find a way to pack those nicely those might get individually wrapped as i put them as i put them in um so i got some let's see so we're gonna move to dvds there will be dvds included in the box 
Uh, there's a couple of twisted ones. They sent this to me like for free for ordering off their shop, so I'm gonna give them to you guys for free. Um, I want to get all the twisted stuff out of the way and then go into the ICP stuff. Uh, yeah, I think that was everything. I'm telling you guys, there's gonna be some rare stuff in here. When you see it, you are going to hopefully be very excited. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So here's JCW Volume 1 on DVD. This is a wrestling... This is the first wrestling DVD they put out. Uh, that's going to be in there. And then there is also Volume 2. And Volume 3. You get all three. Um, did a lot of... They did a lot of uh, wrestling stuff. I want to keep all that kind of together a little bit here. Then they did um, Slam TV, JCW. That was like another like run they did um, for JCW. This one was back in like the yeah the late 2000s, like 2006, 2007. All right, so there's two volumes of that. Um, I don't know what order to go in. I think I should just I should just blast through the JCW stuff, huh? Let's see. JCW, you're gonna have uh, JCW at the 11th annual gathering of the Juggalos. Okay, you're gonna have JCW's back, bitch, sealed. Uh, Bloody Mania 8 sealed. Bloody Mania 6 watched and opened. Uh, Bloody Mania 7. I guess I'm going in reverse order for Bloody Mania. Or sideways. I don't know what the order is here. Alright, we got a few more JCW. There's Send in the Clowns. I literally have every JCW DVD. I just want you to know this as I continue to do this. I own every JCW pay-per-view on DVD. Um, let's see. Oh, here's Above the Law. Okay. And there's Fuck the Police with Officer Colt Cobana. Alright. And then here is JCW Up in Smoke. Look at the stack, dude. And JCW St. Andrew's Brawl. And uh, I think that's all the JCW. Yes, it's all the JCW. Okay. I'm going to put it nicely in the box. In the box. Are we out of room in the box? I think we might have to do more than one box. I, you know, it's it's just my luck. Because whenever I do something like this, I always have just a little bit too much for the box. So there's so much stuff in here. It all fits except for like a little bit more. I'm so close to the end. All right. So here's some stuff. Some more ICP stuff. Well, here's some more Twisted stuff, I mean. Uh, the Purple Show. It's a, you know, a little online thing that they did before YouTube existed. You had to uh, buy the DVD when it was done. Uh, bootlegged in LA. There's a, a concert they did live from the Shangri-La tour. Uh, what do we got? We got the Riddle Box Weekend. Oh, this is, and it also has another JCW uh, thing on it. So this is a two DVD set. Yep, it's a two DVD set. So you have the Riddle Box Live, and then JCW uh, Oddball Brawl in St. Andrews Hall. Sounds nice. All right, and then we have another ICP concert live, Hatchet Attacks. That's yours. All right, and then we have Twisted, Born Twisted. This is like a fake documentary that they did. It was pretty funny. Actually, it's got a bunch of music videos on it, too. Um, we have a documentary of American Psycho Tour. That's the one where I also have those uh, CDs. Um... What else we got? We have the 2012 New Year's Eve party. If you wanted to watch them count down to New Year's Eve. There you go. 
Uh, what else we got? Anything else live? No. All right, so then we have also Psychopathic The Videos Volume 2. This has everything from miracles all the way to Mighty Death Pop. It has uh, the Mighty Death Pop on it. So, okay, so that's all going in. We have the ICP theatrical release of Big Money Hustlers on DVD. Great movie. And Big Money Rustlers, a, a Western. Also a great movie. Um, here are, these ones were not made by Psychopathic Records, but they are rare and they're great. Here is Insane Clown Posse Theater. It's a show they did with Fuse TV that Fuse, like, they tossed it. Like, they don't, they don't, like, air it and they don't sell it. Like, so ICP basically just, like, took the things against their permission and, like, just gave it away as, like, gifts at the gathering and stuff. Um... Because I think if they sold it, they would have been in legal trouble. And then here's Kayfabe Commentary presents You Shoot ICP. A pretty decent uh, YouTube interview that they did. Um, guys, that's all the media. That's all the media. There's a couple more things here. Um, so basically, ICP is doing a concert series called the Ultra Live Monster 5. Um, during COVID, they were doing stuff virtual, and if you were subscribed and watching their their uh, their videos online, uh, they were doing they were doing like live streams online, and uh, so you would basically get these collectors coins um, that you would have gotten if you went to these events. Uh, so here's one, and also here's the nice, pretty velvet bag it comes in. You will get that. And then they did two where you get the you get the coins. Now they do it, you gotta go live to get the coins. Now that COVID is like well, we're pretending it's over, so. Um so here's another one. This one's from the February one. And it also has its own little velvet bag. And these will not quite fit in the box. So the box has runneth over. I mean I could probably like stack things on top like here. Do a couple here. Right, then yeah, a couple here. So then now you're looking at a pretty full box. So this box, let me hold on. It is a full collection in a box. And that's what you would get. Um, so once again, let me repeat the, the, the rules for this, uh, for, for if you would like to receive the box. If you want to receive that box, If you want to receive that box, okay, what we're going to do is this week, okay, so Sunday, July 24th till the, till the 1st of August, we're going to go till the 1st of August. I think that's more than a full week, right? It's almost exactly one, one week from tomorrow, okay? So on, on, on July 31st, it's going to end at midnight, August 1st. You got that? <laughs> Sorry, it's, it sounds more confusing than it is. Okay, so you will have that whole week. If you would like to buy that box, I have a number. I will write it down right now. If you offer me that price or higher, it's yours. First come, first serve. If you offer that number, you get it. And somebody comes up after you and offers me $50,000, I just lost $50,000 because you're getting it, okay? And I mean that. I mean, I can only give you my word, but I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to get rid of some stuff, give somebody an instant collection. 
Now, if that week passes by and we hit August 1st and I still have this box and no offers or nobody hits the offer, I am going to start a raffle. I'm going to I'm going to have a link available. I'm going to get more information set up before, you know, August 1st comes. Um, so for the entire month of August, you can donate 5 bucks um with the uh, the note, you know how you can write a note in in the 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 donation thing? Um, you do donate or PayPal five bucks and write raffle on it. Okay. If you write, if you donate five and write raffle on it, I'm going to write all your names down in a Google sheet, etc., etc. And then at the end of August or August 30, I'm going to say August 30th, I think was the day I said, right? Cause that's going to be, uh, okay. Wednesday's the 31st. We'll do Wednesday the 31st then. So Wednesday, the 31st of August, I am going to uh, stop taking donations for that. If you, set, if you send me a donation after that, uh, I'll see if I could refund it. Um, but if I can't, like, you're going to have to just consider that a donation. Um, and I apologize if, if that sucks. Um, but yeah, so like, I, I will cut it off then. And I am going to pull a name. I'll announce it live here. And whatever, whoever it is, they're going to get it. If I only get one donation, one donation for $5, and I, that means by default, their name's getting pulled out. They will have just gotten that whole box for $5. Okay? And... I mean it. I mean, you could ask the winner. Um, if I have nobody at all that does it, I'm straight up going to just take this and, like, donate it to Goodwill, and some poor dude is going to just get a, a nice collection <laughs> that he could probably individually sell on, on eBay for well over what my, my selling point is. All right? So those are the rules, okay? So this week, you can make an offer. Um, I will take if anybody hits the offer or higher. I will take uh, I will take the whole thing off the plate. I will let everybody know that it's gone. Uh, if we hit August first, the raffle begins. Five dollars or more. You could give me more, but it won't increase your odds. You could give me ten bucks. That will not give you two odds. Every single donation of five dollars or more uh, will get your name in the hat. I will pull it out live. I will pull the name out live. I'm not pulling it out. Uh, live on uh, uh, on uh, August 31st, and uh, whoever wins it, they're gonna get it. And I'm taking care of shipping. I I you could ask anybody that's worked with me. I take good care of my stuff, and that includes up to the moment I put it out for pickup. Okay, I really do. I promise. Anybody that's bought for me, I make sure that their stuff, at the very least, gets there insured. <laughs> If they if it gets completely blown up and it, it's it's an insurance claim that's one thing but it's hasn't happened yet all right so guys thank you for watching i'm gonna cut it here and i'm gonna try to edit this video and and make a few commercials for it uh hopefully we got enough information enough uh footage and stuff like that um and you guys yeah like i said uh my inbox is open make make an offer uh if not uh the raffle in the month of August is happening. All right. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you when I see you. Bye bye.